Uh, we are on day 21. Um, unfortunately, as we wake up this morning, we're at over 6,000 confirmed cases. Um, they may be more than 10,000 miles away from the centre of the time. outbreak, but um, these scientists are in emergency mode. And do we know what the mortality rate is? They are working day and night to come up with a vaccine that could save lives in China and beyond. Scientists were able to spring into action within just a couple of days of the new virus being identified after China posted details of the virus's genetic code online. We received the sequence from the Chinese government and we worked overnight and the next day we had designed a vaccine. We immediately put that vaccine into manufacture, which is the, current, the stage that it's currently in, and we hope that that will be entering into human clinical trials by early summer. That timeline is absolutely unprecedented in vaccine development. Scientists here are already developing a vaccine for another coronavirus called Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. They're using the same DNA technology for this new virus from China too. Swirling around in these fermenters is a very musty smelling solution of bacteria from which the main ingredient for this vaccine, a string of DNA, which it's hoped will trigger a strong immune response against this virus, will be extracted. Traditionally, this process can take months, but here, using these new technologies, it's been taking scientists days. The work here and in two other research facilities in the US and Australia is being funded by an organization called CEPI. It's a coalition of governments and philanthropic organizations that invest in developing new vaccines for emerging diseases as quickly as possible. Doing this is exciting work, but this is a very dangerous time. This is a real viral threat. And we know these viruses, they, they, they do not respect borders. So this virus could be on our doorstep very quickly. No one knows how the outbreak in China is going to unfold and whether a vaccine will be ready in time. It's still very early days for the vaccine being developed here, but this crucial work to help save lives is underway. Tulip Mazumdar, BBC News, San Diego.